what's up guys welcome to another video happy to have you on here so today i'm going to be presenting to you this amazing website i'm not sure you all know about it but definitely it's something you should be checking it out so welcome to the website called trust pilot and basically it's a reviews website where you find companies and you get reviews about them you know reviews are an important feature in every company in every app or in every service we use and so it's important for people to give feedback because it helps build trust and it helps build engagement and support for that brand it equally helps you find scams and equally helps you find things which are really really terrible and really bad so reviews is very important Unfortunately, not all companies provide reviews or have maybe social media pages where you can review their services. And so this amazing website exists where you can do precisely that. So it's called Trustpilot. And basically on there, you can find companies and the reviews that people have written about them, the rating people have given to them. And you can easily get a good feedback or a good sense or build your trust about a specific brand. So head straight away to trustpilot.com and you're going to be presented with this interface and you can easily find any possible company on there. So let's go ahead and see maybe the big names and get a feel of what people are saying about them. So let's go ahead and check out Facebook or maybe Meta. All right, Meta. Yes, and let's check out the reviews about them. Straight away, you can already see the rating. The rating is terrible. You can see the rating is at 1.2 over 5. It's terrible. You can see the number of people who are giving stars. 95% have given it a 1 star. And you can see what people say about it. So the interface is quite simple. You have the name of the company at the top. And you have the rating, which comes next. Then from then on, you have the different reviews about people's experiences with that company and how they generally feel about it. So any possible company you can think of, you can go ahead and type it straight away from here. And so if it has some traction, if it has some, some popularity to a certain extent, then you're going to see a review about it. I think anybody can go ahead and sign, log in, and maybe write, um, maybe register a company here. There's not really a specific um, process for you to register yet. Anybody can put the name of a company here, and people are going to put reviews about that company. So yeah, definitely the company can as well claim claim the page, the review page, you are free to do so, but definitely they cannot block the reviews or what people think about it. So it's very important, I believe, because it helps you get a sense and a feel about the different services. So let's check out, for example, Google, google.com. You can see the website, it shows, it shows you precisely where the people are referring to or which company the person is referring to. So in this case, they're referring to google.com, the company Google, and you can see people's reviews. So this person says it was excellent. So the person says one of the best companies in the world. And you can definitely see the rating. And here you will have an overall review. And you can see that people are really divided. Some people really don't like it that much. Others really like it very much. And so yeah, so it's a very amazing website. It's a very useful website because you really get to see if something is a scam or something is not. So I would just like to check out maybe the crypto. Crypto, for example, what do people think about something like Bitcoin or the general sense behind Bitcoin? And so here you can see it's more about the traders and the trading platforms. I think here Bitcoin.org, you can check it out here. And so you can see the rating and the reviews that people have left about Bitcoin. If I had a chance not to give a one star, um, Bitcoin that are actually put in tempered and so on. Yeah, so you get a sense and a feel of what people think and how people feel. So I find this website really very useful because it allows you to review not only companies but equally apps, equally services. And if they have been on the internet for a while, you are going to find them on here. So definitely visit this website, check out the different companies you use, the different platforms you use, and you're going to see maybe a company, you're going to maybe get a sense and a feel about how they operate. So let's go maybe to African companies, something like Flutterwave. You see Flutterwave is on here as well. Unfortunately, it doesn't have the best of ratings. You can see, yeah, people have given it a one star a lot. And so you can see what people are saying about it. I really like the fact that people get to see or express their 
the, um, the experience they have had. They don't just put a star, but they really go into details about the experience. You equally see the date it was posted. So it's very useful for you to decipher scams and to be really to build your confidence about a specific brand. Keep in mind that it's not just tech companies, it's not just software companies. If you go to the home page, you see the different types of companies on here, the different categories of companies on here. You have car dealerships and so on and so forth. But basically, it's virtually really anything. It will be anything. You can have banks. Banks can be reviewed too. So this website's purpose is just for people to give feedback about their um, about their use of a specific service or something. So for example, let's check out UBA, United Bank of Africa, I believe. All right, that's not yet been put on here, I guess. So people can go ahead and put that and leave reviews and, and so on and so forth. So yeah, you basically have all, all these services. You can equally use it to track apps. I really like the features of finding apps on here and really getting a sense of what the app is all about and so on and so forth. Yeah, so for example, if you go to some major companies, so for example, Forbes, what do people think about Forbes? So you can see here yeah, the rating of Forbes is not really like that much and so on and so forth. <laughs> Unfortunately, I don't think this is the place where people review persons. I don't think there are person, um, persons on here or people on here for people to give reviews about that, but that could have been interesting, even though I think it'd be way too polarizing. Yeah, so this amazing tool you can use to build your trust about a specific brand or get an opinion about a company. So you should definitely check it out, find out the names you, you're interested in and definitely leave as well a review that is going to help people in the future as well. So I hope you enjoy this video. Catch you on the next one.